Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Today, I've gathered together, I think, 22 compilation CDs that I have, and I've ranked them from my least favorite to my favorite, although, you know, I love all of them. But it's just fun to rank them. And uh, one thing I'd like to say that I don't mention in too many of my videos is, if you enjoy these videos that I do, please remember to like the video, please remember to subscribe, and most importantly, if you can, please leave a comment below. Uh, you know, for any channel that you watch, you know, videos that you like, it's always, it always helps the channels if you do leave a comment and like the video and everything. Please. Thank you. Okay, so I've got, I actually had 23 CDs and then I decided, wait a minute, this really isn't a compilation CD, it's just his first, well, there is more than his first few albums, there's uh, bonus tracks, but I have not included Rod Stewart's Reason to Believe the Complete Mercury Studio Recordings. I love early Rod Stewart. Uh, of course, every picture tells a story. My favorite is actually uh, Never a Dull Moment, Gasoline Alley, of course, and his debut. But and this was, uh, I think you can buy it at, at a pretty good price. So if you love early Rod Stewart, and you can pause that if you want to read it, I highly recommend you buying this. Okay, so there's 22 CDs, and these are ranked. My least favorite, but I still enjoy it a lot, isn't even classic rock. It's blues. Mississippi Fred McDowell, Heroes of the Blues. There's a song on here called uh, Red Cross Store that I remember from an early uh, Capitol Records compilation album that had Grand Funk and Steve Miller Band and a few other artists. And I always love that song, and it's on this. Of course, the Rolling Stones on uh, Sticky Fingers covered You Gotta Move. So, a great blues artist. Mississippi Fred McDowell. Next up, yeah, I would never, I don't think I've, well, I've never bought any of his solo albums, but I still, you know, like him. I have his albums from when he was with the Stooges, and of course, Iggy Pop. And yeah, Greatest Hits is good enough for me. I love Lust for Life, The Passenger, Real Wild Child. China Girl, of course, the original version that he wrote, that David Bowie made into a huge hit single later on. And then some of the other ones are, are okay, but I would say half of this I really love. Next up, the reason these two are low is I have his whole discography now, and I just haven't had the time to, to listen to everything, but I really am impressed with him as an artist. And it wasn't until this year I actually listened to his albums. And these are two compilations. Really hard, no, you know, the printing's so small. But I guess this one came out in 2003. Paul Weller, Fly on the Wall. And then, very recently, another compilation, Will of the People. And there's, I think it's uh, Desk 2. I was so impressed with uh, Devotion, Sun Goes, Alone, Lay Down Your Weary Burden. But like I said, I still need to listen to these more. But what a great talent. Paul Weller. Next up, Cream Gold. So this includes, I think, it, I think it includes almost all of their studio tracks. They didn't make that many albums. And then uh, 
Cream Live, I think. Songs from that album and other live albums. So a really good double CD compilation. I've never I've never owned a Cream album. And this will do for me. I started a joke which started the whole world crying. That's right, the Bee Gees. Thank you. The Bee Gees, Timeless, the all-time greatest hits. Yep. I've, once again, actually that's not true. I did own uh, the night, what's the uh, main course? Yeah, I bought that album on vinyl on, on the in the year it came out. But I think that's the only Bee Gees album I ever owned. And I love the Bee Gees. But Greatest Hits will do. I love the early stuff. Uh, Spicks and Specks, New York Mining Disaster, To Love Somebody, Words, I've Got to Get a Message to You, I Started a Joke Which You Heard Me Sing. And then even their dan dancey tunes, Jive Talkin', Nights on Broadway, which might be my favorite Bee Gees song. Staying Alive, Night Fever, uh, Too Much Heaven. What a great, talented, the three brothers, so much talent. Nobody should mock the Bee Gees. But they can mock this, this next band because they are the Rattles. <laughs> and this is, you know, they released uh, the original album, but this has more, I think, everything that they did in the, uh, I think the original album only had like 13 songs, and this has 20. But what a great, fun album it is. I've also got the movie on Blu-ray. So yeah, my favorites are Double Back Alley, Piggy in the Middle, <laughs> and uh, Cheese and Onions, of course. Another band that is, and it's actually a band, it's not three singers and then, you know, studio musicians or whatever, they actually had a real band. And they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Three Dog Night. Yes, they did a lot of cover versions. But they made these cover versions their own. Uh, they have talent. They had a great band backing them. Three great lead singers. My favorites are... Mama Told Me Not To Come. Liar. Celebrate. Eli's Coming. Just lots of great tunes, and it is really, it's disgusting that they aren't in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Gets me mad. Ho, 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 this is so good. I was listening to Disc One last night, The Essential Sly and the Family Stone. You know, right off the bat, with uh, Underdog is so good, I can't, cannot make it. Dance to the music, and then uh, Life, and Stand. I want to take you higher, sing a simple song, Everyday People. You can make it if you try. Hot fun in the summertime, everybody is a star. Thank you. Thank you for letting me be myself again. I don't play side two. I'm... Family Affair is great, but I, I need to listen to side two. I always gravitate towards side one. But Sly Stone, one of the greats, the, the band too. Now I've got, uh, I think, three studio albums by this band, and I also have the complete singles A's and B's, The Incredible Rascals. A really well done compilation and 
all of their singles and, like it says, all of their B-sides. And a nice, very nice booklet. There's my favorite Rascal song, C. Now this band, I have, well, I don't actually have all of their albums, but the last one is really considered a solo album by Doug Ewell. I will maybe get it someday, but The Velvet Underground, VU, just songs that never made any of their albums. Um, excellent compilation. And I actually have the, uh, the one after this, but I can't find it. It's around somewhere. Re was it called Reloaded? Or... I don't know. I forget the name of it. But I have it somewhere. And this one, it's so good, but it's depressing to listen to because of what happened with the band. Bad thing. Day After Day, Without You, uh, Come and Get It, of course, No Matter What, Baby Blue, Apple of My Eye, just so many great songs. It's just a sad uh, story with uh, two of the members, of course. Oh, well, there's three that have passed away, but uh, I think most of you know the story of two of the members. Okay, this is my top ten. Number ten, the Northern Pikes. Yes, Canada's very own Northern Pikes. They had quite a few radio hits here in Canada. She Ain't Pretty is probably the biggest one. And uh, Teen Land, Things They Do For Money, Place That's Insane, Hopes Go Astray, Kiss Me You Fool, Girl With a Problem. And I know, you know, I've met the band members many times, been out to dinner with them, and uh, super nice guys. The Northern Pikes. If you love excellent pop rock music, you have to check them out. Number nine. I have a few of their studio albums because they are the Who. And this is the expanded, uh, this came out on vinyl, of course, at first. And it's expanded to 23 songs. Just a very fun listen. Of course, there was also Meaty, Beady, Big and Bouncy, which was another excellent compilation. But these aren't, uh, you know, like greatest hits. They're songs that were never released or, I guess, maybe B-sides or whatever. But a really excellent listen. Number eight, the greatest hits of Talking Heads. My favorite Talking Heads album is Fear of Music, and the, this is their greatest hits, like it says. Or the best of them. Yeah. Psycho Killer, Life During Wartime, Heaven, Memories Can't Wait, Once in a Lifetime, Burning Down the House, and she was. What a great band. Number seven, I have his first two studio albums and his greatest hits, Joe Cocker. Yeah, my favorite songs were on this. Uh, High Time We Went, Delta Lady, of course. Darling Be Home Soon, Woman to Woman, I love that. And Midnight Rider, something, and of course, with a little help from my friends. What a great talent Joe Cocker was.
Number six, a band I really never talk about, and I used to have some of their albums on vinyl back in the day, but I love their uh, early songs, The Cure, Staring at the Sea, the single. Just great song after great song. My favorites being Boys Don't Cry, A Forest, uh, The Love Cats, In Between Days is awesome and Close to Me. Maybe I'll give this to Glenn Kellaway from the basement for one of our CD exchanges. I don't think he's heard The Cure. Number five is what really got me to love this band. And I haven't listened to their latest song yet. I'm scared to. <laughs> it is The Rolling Stones Through the Past Darkly, Big Hits, Volume 2. Yep, I had that back in the day on vinyl in the whatever shape that is called. I keep forgetting. But. This is such a great compilation, and I, I think the UK version is a, a little different with the track listing. But my favorite Rolling Stone songs are on this. Uh, my all-time favorite is 2000 Light Years From Home, and then Ruby Tuesday, Paint It Black, Honky Tonk, Honky Tonk Women, uh, Street Fighting Man, everything, everything on this is just excellent. And, you know, I was uh, honored to be gifted with some albums by uh, the John Lennon Estate. And uh, this one I actually bought with my own money. Give Me Some Truth, John Lennon. Uh, remixed versions of all of these songs. and I love the fact that his... His vocals are brought, brought up in the mix because he's definitely one of my all-time favorite singers. And he didn't like his own singing. What a silly boy. Thumbnail. Yeah, Instant Karma, Cold Turkey is awesome, Love, God, Power to the People, uh, Whatever Gets You Through the Night, Watching the Wheels, Give Peace a Chance, Jealous Guy, it goes on and on. I've got number three and two by the same artist or band. Number three. This was the very first, I believe. Maybe it wasn't. They've had a few uh, compilations, but this is the one, maybe the first one on CD. Profile, the Ultimate Sparks Collection. Two CDs, starting with of course, uh, Wonder Girl from 1972. And there are some extra songs on this that weren't on the on their studio albums, like the original version of, of I Like Girls. And then some B-sides like Barbecuity. So this is disc one. And this is disc two. So it goes all the way up to uh, music that you can dance to, that album. But an even better compilation, and people quite often uh, probably at least ten times people have asked me, which Sparks album should I start with? And because all of their most of their studio albums are all kind of different, 
I think the best place to start is Past Tense, The Best of Sparks. Now this is a three CD compilation, but the, the two CD would do, I think, to just get into them. And this starts with Computer Girl, their very first song that I believe was recorded in, was it 1967? 1966 or 1967? So a lot of songs on this, and just an excellent way to get into Sparks. And number one, I never play, because I kind of always forget that it's part of this Blu-ray <laughs> and DVD set. The Beatles, one plus. So this is uh, yeah, the Blu-ray of all of their music videos and also a audio of uh, one that came out back in the day, the early 2000s. And it was a big seller. The only thing about one is it should have had Strawberry Fields Forever on. I'm sore. It had Penny Lane. Now I'm going to get mad. <laughs> but yeah, the Beatles are always number one. You know that. And that is it. And there's the disc. So I would love your thoughts in the comment section below. What are some of your all-time favorite best ofs or, you know, compilations. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.